Welcome back to Patriot Network TV. Again, this is our year of the Constitution. I want to urge you to have your Constitution with you everywhere you go and anytime anyone asks, I want you to tell them we believe in the enumerated powers of the U.S. Constitution. Here's a great story ripped from the headlines. How do we make government smaller? First and foremost, we do these arcane things like read the Constitution and put in place rules for the House of Representatives and the U.S. Senate that restrict spending. Okay? In the old democratically controlled House and Senate, the rule was pay-go or pay-as-you-go. In the new Republican-controlled House, or I would claim Tea Party-controlled, Tea Party-influenced House, I would say their new rule, and this is, I'm quoting directly here from the editorial page of the Wall Street Journal, their new rule is cut as you go. In other words, if we are going to do any increase in mandatory spending, that has to be matched by a cut in spending somewhere else. We are up against a fiscal nightmare of epic proportions. One of the first big real battles that's shaping up in Congress is whether or not the debt ceiling is going to be bumped up from $13,900,000,000 to $14,500,000,000. billion. One good sign that the people in the Republican House get it, that is they understand that the, tax, the Tea Party people taxed enough already, say cut spending, stop spending, one good sign would be a refusal to bump the debt ceiling up and live within the current debt, i.e. don't spend more money than you have. If we go to a constitutionally run government of enumerated powers where we don't just pass laws because it feels good, but we pass laws because there is an enumerated power in the U.S. Constitution that allows us to pass those laws, We'll spend less, we'll regulate less, and we'll have more freedom. Now, last thought for today. If you knew this document inside and out, and we're only talking 46 pages, you, page 46, you've got every, page 46 is Amendment 27, okay? That's it. 46 pages, Declaration of Independence, U.S. Constitution, the Mission Statement, and the Operating Manual of our government. If every citizen knew this, and constantly emailed, called, and wrote to their elected representative, be they in the U.S. House of Representatives or the U.S. Senate, and said, you are in violation of the U.S. Constitution, Article 2, Section 3, Paragraph 4. If we wrote constantly and said, if you don't stop voting this way, we will vote you out, how long would it take to seriously cut federal spending and regulation. Every dollar we cut is a dollar of freedom. Every regulation we stop is more freedom. It's not a question of spending debt versus spending. It's a question of freedom versus tyranny. I urge you to be free in this year. God bless you.